Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Got some coffee. Mm. Yes, I'm filming a second video with the same cup, but I love that cup. Oh, hello, sir. And Mr. Wellington, he would like to say hello. Say hi. Yeah, no, he doesn't. <laughs> but they're here. I just fed them dinner. I'm going to get this video up. And then, I don't know, i got housework to do. All right, it's a Dollar Tree haul, but I want to show you a couple things I picked up. I got these 12, and they're like cabin 12 sheets at Kohl's. Guys, if you have a Kohl's near you in this, these are Cuddle Dead brand and they regularly $79. I paid $10, $11 for them. I had some Kohl's cash. They were on sale. I had a coupon and I had $15 in Kohl's cash. So I paid $11. I needed some new flannel. They're flannel. I know flannel is a very divisive thing, but I love flannel. And then the other thing I want to show you, I got these cups at Marshall's for $4.99 uh, for a coffee bar. And they say, drink up Grinches. They had all different ones, but I loved these. So I just wanted to share. Hi, what can I do? You want me to hold you for a second? Okay. Why don't you put your feet there? There you go. This is what we do all day at work while I'm trying to work. He just wants me to hold him. Okay, we'll do some Dollar Tree hauling until he's ready to get down. I found this wood cutout, just raw wood in this house shape. Typically, I don't buy these cutouts because I don't really think they're cost effective, but I don't also have the means to make this shape. So I'm on the hunt maybe for a couple different sizes. Thank you. Like a taller or smaller and make a little rustic village. Um, so I grabbed this one for now. I'll just keep my eye out. If not, it'll be fantastic in like the springtime or something. So I grabbed that in the craft section. Um, in the Bolero, new stuff that came out. This is a peppermint lip mask. And I thought this would be fabulous. Not only for like a stocking or a little add-on gift, but just to do around the holidays. Like I'm just going to pick a night, watch a Christmas movie, do some self-care. And I will do my peppermint twist mouth, uh, lip masks. I thought that was super fun. They have a lot of uh, festive masks and stuff. They have like a cranberry hibiscus mask, which I thought was fun. I have plenty of face masks, but I wanted a lip. Hi, what can I do? Yeah. Um, also for my coffee bar, express your elf. What? I know. Very punny. So I grabbed a pack of these napkins. You get 24. You know, coffee, snacks, napkins. Done. Um, so I did my kitchen in gingerbread for Christmas this year. You saw, maybe you saw the DIYs I did. So I walked into the Dollar Tree today and I was like, I need a brown dish drying mat for my coffee maker. Because, you know, gingerbread. And then I'm like, girl, you're not going to find brown. Sure did find brown. Yeah, I did. And if I got really crazy, I could put white pom-poms around it just to make it a little more festive, just with some hot glue. Some of that pom-pom fringe, even just on the front side. You know, I think I will. I probably, I probably will. Just to decorate it up a little bit because I think it would be fun. So that's gonna be just a little to, to do when I um, get out my hot glue gun. Um, I got some pork rinds to snack on because I was starving when I was in the store. Hadn't had dinner. Okay. I found the party roll in gold for the table runners. This is just so pretty. I love it. I have silver and gold now. And one of you, and I can't remember her name, I'm sorry, I had a great idea to use the silver maybe behind me on my coffee table for Chris, like after Christmas for winter when I'm doing like the navy and silver and white thing. So I got gold. It'll happen. I grabbed this. It's a concealer brush, but I wanted to try an angle brush. I bought some new 
um, eyebrow. Okay, so fun fact, and I'll share with you that the company that makes, if you're on TikTok, the eyebrow stamp, they sent me one to try. And I like it, um, but I like the control of using a brush instead of stamping it. And I think they're sending me some for a giveaway. So sit tight for that. They're really fun, the stamp. But I wanted to try an angle brush to see if I can fill in my brows a little better. I have hair. <laughs> if they're there, they're just very blonde or white. So I need to, you know, life. Um, for the festive season, these are sugar-free Starlight Mints. They're just peppermints, but they're sugar-free. Um, I don't ever recommend eating more than one or two of these or you'll get some intestinal distress. Throwing that out there. Oh, what is all over? I'm like, what is all this? It's the pork rind juice. Pork rind dust. I also bought and I had, let me get them out of here because there's pork rind dust all over them. Um, I bought for the snack some of these Russell Stouffer's sugar-free. I love these. Um, again, I only have like one at a time, um, but I like the Russell Stouffer sugar-free stuff. So I grabbed those just as a little treat to myself um, for my coffee bar, but also you could use these for pretty much anything. It's four-piece little miniature scoops. So they have a two-piece set, and then they have this little, and these are little scoops. Oh, if you have like your powdered laundry detergent or your scent booster beads or anything like that in jars. These make great little scoops. Also, for a coffee bar or for your own coffee bar. I mean, it doesn't have to be for a party or anything, but I thought these would be good. I'm not sure exactly what's going in what jar, but I just, when I saw them, I grabbed them because I know what's going to happen is I'm going to want them and I won't be able to find them. So I just grabbed them. And the same thing goes, this is just a four pack of little tongs. Same thing for the coffee bar or the charcuterie board or whatever. And these are nice. I I have had these before and I just wash them and reuse them. I mean, they, they'll last several uses. And these are just nice, small, little, little tongs. So I figure between the two of these um, for the coffee hot chocolate bar, I should be covered for people reaching in and grabbing things. So we have that and you know, whenever I don't end up using, I have a tote in my garage and I just keep party stuff in for when I used to be able to have parties before COVID. I used to entertain fairly regularly. Um, I grabbed one more pack of these sugar-free of the best. Now they only seem to come in the honey lemon, which is fine, but we are getting in cold and flu season and allergies for me. So my I've been stuffy. My head will run and my throat will get sore and it's, it's just allergies. But still, I like to have an option around the house with some cough drops. And I try to keep, especially this time of year, I try to keep a little medicine cabinet set up with some cold medicine, cough drops, some tissues with lotion, just to have, you know. I don't know, with all the mask wearing I do, am I gonna get a cold this year? I don't know. Am I gonna be ready? Yes. I am. I don't, I just want to be ready. Mm. I need to be prepared guys. I can't help it. I'm like, I'm like an overgrown Girl Scout. I just gotta be prepared. Um, oh, I have some things that I thought would be fun. We'll see. Ha and I'm sure you've all seen the little, um, the DIY where you fill a whisk with kisses and you wrap it in plastic and it's, I, I, uh, whisk you a Merry Christmas. So I thought a little tiny one would be adorable for that and just fill it with a few kisses and just give it to somebody with a gift card. I don't know, I just thought this would be cute in a little version instead of a big whisk. And then I got the idea for my neighbors sit, oh, my batteries, let me fix that. My battery's getting ready to go. Um, instead of baking cookies for the little ones, just because again, COVID, I was going to get like some cookie sets together and you could put them in a bag, like in one of these bags, they will fit a spatula, a little bag of cookies. And then I'm going to find some of the multicolored sprinkles and put them in these bags and just hand them out to the couple neighbors I have with littles. And I think it will be safer than baking cookies for them, I think, but they have the little small bags of sugar cookies, a little tiny spatula, 
and then a note on the outside and some sprinkles. I think this would be a fantastic little friend gift, neighbor gift, thumbnail, get out of here. I don't know. I think this would be a fantastic idea with these bags and put, and I might still bake cookies. It just kind of depends how, what, what things, are, how things are going. So I grabbed one more pack of that bag and one more crap pack of this bag. I was looking for the green Christmas tree, but I didn't see those at any of the stores I was at. So I just grabbed these two because I can also, if I decide to bake cookies, put them in a cellophane bag or a zip bag, put that down in here and tie it up and gift it. So I thought that would be super cute. It's just a little neighborly note, right? Right. Um, speaking of gifts for my little nephew and niece kittens, Murray and Mabel, I'm gonna put this in the in their basket, and it just says "Life is better with cats," and it's a just a refrigerator magnet for my brother and his wife. And this will go in with the cat stuff. I love giving things like that. Um, I also have, I'm putting together some candy gifts for folks, and this is Godiva, which is amazing chocolate, and it's Godiva with caramel. So one of my friends loves chocolate and caramel, and I'm picking up all the chocolate and caramel candy bars I can find. Like, I'll just give her one, and then somebody else will get the other one. But I thought that would be fun, and I made them gift bags. So there's that. Oh! I finally at my store, I did it again, guys. If you were watching the last video, I need to stop leaning on this. Okay, I finally found these jars. This one to me just screams pumpkin. I love the shape of it, and this will definitely go out next year, but I thought this, I could put it out this year, Christmas time, maybe fill it with some candy. I mean, not that I eat it, but I love the shape of this jar and these are big jars but definitely for fall next year this one will make an appearance and this one I may even just paint the lid a different color and put some a bow on it and fill it with candy and give it to somebody I don't know we'll see guys I buy so much stuff that I just have to give it all away it's just how it has to work okay we don't have much more here because I don't have a lot I grabbed a two pack of some dry erase markers um, four. I grabbed two, one for me and one for Sarah. Look at the size of this. First of all, look at the to-do list. It's a to-do list and it's on dry erase fabric. But here's a thought. If you put a sticker over here, just a white sticker, naughty or nice list or Santa's list and naughty or nice and put, I mean, how fun would that be for like a Christmas something or other? Or put your kids' names on here and tell, you know, things for them to do. I don't know. There's a lot you could do with these and they're pretty large, but I'm a list maker. And so this was like right up my alley when I saw that. And so I grabbed one for me and I grabbed one for Sarah cause I know she will like one as well. Um, I got one of the upside down, <laughs> the deer on this side is upside down. But if you turn it around, they're not upside down. So my thought was I'll just, deal with it. Oop, wrong side. Right? But just deal with it. It doesn't matter. It's a dollar. It's a Christmas hat. Ooh, well, that doesn't look good at all. Yeah, so they're cute. I like them. If it bothers you that it's upside down, don't get the, the one with the deer on it. Or if you're going to use it for something else, you can, you know, I don't know. But I just wanted to show you that I think they're all, they all have one side that's right side up and one side that's upside down. So there's that. But this one at least fits my head. The other one does not fit my head. Um, I grabbed some batteries. This is going to be for the um, Santa cams that I'm gonna be making here soon. I needed some batteries to test them out. Um, look at this size box. I love a, a, a square box. And it just has it in holographic, oh, what fun. And lights. I love that box. That is so pretty. Now, I will wrap this box, but if you didn't want to wrap it, like, that's fun. And you get, it's a two-pack, and they're the same. And this is, I don't know if it tells me dimensions, but they're pretty decent size. I would say it's 9 by 9, 10 by 10, if I had to guess. But I like a square box. 
And I think that's all the boxes I'm gonna have to buy this year if I am remembering correctly. And then the last thing I have in this little wee haul, I finally found these like, they're almost like a clay ornament. And I got the gnome and the candy cane ones. And then I grabbed from my kitchen, the gingerbread cookie ones. And I'm gonna hang these from the shelf in my kitchen. And I love them. I think they're adorable. You definitely want to check each one though. They were some sketchy looking, just saying. And then some of the gnomes were not, they had like red on their beard and stuff. But I just thought these were super cute. I mean, these would make a great gift tag as well. You could just hang, you know, a secondary tag on with these. So I grabbed these. Can I help you, sir? I grabbed these. I have not seen the little wooden ones yet, like the snowman and stuff, and I'm desperate to get my hands on those. And you know what else I can't find at my store? The Believe sign, the little pack of Believes with the Santa hat, you get a three pack. My store has not ever gotten those, so I'm wondering if that's something that I won't see until next year. I don't know, but I did find these, so that was exciting. I was kind of thinking I had seen all of the Christmas stuff. My stores seem to be putting out the same the same stuff that nothing really new, too new has come out, I guess I should say. But I think that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this quick one and you have a fantastic day and I'll talk with you later. Bye.